Hey, what's up guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. Guys, this is one of the final Madden 15 Ultimate Team videos that you are ever going to see on this channel. Yeah, we're doing some gameplay. I know obviously if you guys have been paying attention to my channel, you probably know that I'm going to be... Well, I, I, I'm in the process of currently giving away my entire team. Uh, I'm not somebody that does the, you know, selling of my team at the end of the year or anything like that. I want to give back to you guys as much as you guys have given to me this year and help my channel grow and everything like that. It has been so much fun this year uh, to grow the channel and communicate with you guys and that kind of thing. It sucks that this game is so brutal, but you know, what can you do? We're at the end of the year. I'm done complaining about it. Eddie Lacy gets into the end zone there, puts us up 7 to nothing early in this one. Um, obviously, guys, like I mentioned, make sure that you're paying attention to my channel. Also, my Twitter account, we're giving away a ton of stuff on there. I've also given away a couple things, well, actually a lot of stuff on Twitch. Most of the giveaways are actually on Twitch, but some of the really, really good stuff is going to be here on YouTube for you guys. So um, make sure, like I said, that you pay attention to the videos that are going up so that you can enter and that kind of thing. But... Let's get past that. Let's talk about this gameplay, guys. Up 7-0 in this one, trying to keep the lead here. And guys, like I said, this is going to be my final season, so I'm trying to make a run here toward the end and, and really, you know, end the season on a high note as far as I, as much as I can anyway. And take a look at this play. We hit him oh, while he's throwing it. And look at this jump by DeMarcus Ware. Whoop! And he is gone for a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. That was a huge interception by DeMarcus Ware. Nearly got caught here by, I don't know, is that the fullback? The speed ratings in this game are so asinine. And on the ensuing kickoff, we make a huge hit there and recover it in the red zone. Very next play, we've got Calvin Johnson over the middle for a touchdown. That's going to put us up 21 to nothing very early in this one. The mercy rule is pretty much coming into play here. Vontae Davis swats that one away on second and 11, third and 11 here. And we're bringing some pressure off the edge. He does make the completion here over the middle. He kind of beat my user there. I can't lie. But the next play, Patrick Peterson gets the interception. And he is off to the races. That is going to be a 28 to nothing lead early here in the second quarter. And you know what's coming next, guys. You have to know. There you go. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The rage quit. Can't really blame him down 28 to nothing. So let's move on here to the next game. 7-1 and one on this season, guys. Uh, we've only got to get one more win here to get the playoff berth and then one more win beyond that to secure a first round buy. So we're going to see if we can do that today. And here we go, guys. First play of the game. My opponent's going to bomb it up deep here. And we swat it away with Vontae Davis. Very, very close to being a completion there. But... My opponent pressed pause right after that, and I was thinking, okay, let's go take a look at what he's got here at his lineup. So I switch over here, and he's obviously got good quarterbacks. He's got the uh, 4th of July R RG3, I think that is. But he rage quit too. So I'm assuming that this guy was just trying to demote himself, which is just asinine at this point in the year. But what are you going to do? So we'll go on to the third game here, guys. This is for our first round bye, if we can get it very first play of the game there nice little completion there over the middle to vincent jackson he is playing tight end for me guys if you're unaware the fourth of july vincent jackson is one of the most deadly tight ends that you can use in this game and we're gonna complete a pass here over the middle kelvin benjamin on that four verticals play gets wide open on that one and then we're gonna take the ball up the middle here for a gain of about four with barry sanders Sets up a third and four, and oh my gosh, what a sick play by that cornerback. I believe that was Antonio Cromartie, if I remember correctly. Or no, excuse me, it was Jason McCourty. I take that back. But an absolutely ridiculous play by him there on that crossing pattern. And then the very next play, we're going to make a nice play in the backfield. So we're doing pretty well here. He decides to go with a hurry up, and he is going to throw it after getting hit right into coverage. We get the interception with Jack Ham there, and we are in scoring position. So despite the fact that we threw an interception, didn't really matter too much, and we are going to be back in a good position here to put points on the board. Barry Sanders rumbling, stumbling, bringing it down to about the six-yard line couple plays later, we've got our wide receiver Julio Jones wide open over the middle, and he is going to make the spectacular catch. Ensuing drive, first play, 
User pick, baby! Gotcha, bitch! Derek Johnson, the 4th of July card, gets an interception there. And again, we're back in scoring position here. Really just need to not turn it over. But you know what? Fuck it! Andrew Luck all the way into the end zone in coverage. Vincent Jackson comes up with it in traffic. A ridiculous grab there. So we're up 14 to nothing. Got a little bit of luck here going our way in this one. So that's always nice to see. We've had bad luck throughout most of the year. But look at Eli Manning shredding the tackle here, finding a wide open receiver over the middle there I played bad in coverage there once I saw that the guy was coming off the edge I thought for sure he was going to try and go short he did not so unfortunately we did allow the touchdown but the very next play on offense Barry Sanders with the juke move and he is off to the races for a touchdown huge play by our offense bringing it back up to a 14 point lead here before the end of the first half my opponent still does have time though to put points on the board but he does lose yardage on the first play and takes a sack on the second play. We bring pressure on third down, and we swat it away there. A nice play by Vontae Davis. Brings up now a fourth and 19, and my opponent brings up the pause menu, and we have our third straight rage quit, guys. So there you have it. Three straight rage quits. You guys don't see that from me very often anyway, at least not lately in this game. So we played pretty well in these. We got some benefits of a couple lucky plays with like the hit that caused the interception and that kind of stuff. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, please be sure to hit that like button. I'm going to be bringing you guys as much of the playoffs as I can, trying to stay in this thing. Not going to spoil anything for you guys, but I think you're going to enjoy the outcome of these final games. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon.